Today in this video, we are gonna make our very own cover page. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze another recruit's cover page, a good one. And here's what we got. We got our name, we got our grad year, our position, city. We don't exactly need our city. We got our high school, our club team, height and weight, our contact information, which is gonna be blurred out for obvious reasons. GPA, our accolades, all conference, varsity letter, most improved offensive player, Chicago Lacrosse All Star, Chicago Cup All Star, Adrenaline Western Shootout All Star, footage. We might not need that, but we're gonna go to the next page on here, and we got our program director, our associate program director, our high school coach, and anyone else we should reach out to regarding our recruitment. When you have those two things, those two pages, that's all college coaches want. We want some accolades and we want some contact information. So how do we make this? How do we make this page right here? Well, that's a solid question. And let's get into it. The first thing we're going to want to do is this box right here is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So we're gonna wanna go to File New in Photoshop, and then that'll come up with this little thing right here. And we're gonna want to go to our width and say 1980 by, sorry, 1920 by 1080. And that'll give us the outline of a video. It's a perfect video. We're going to want pixels and we're going to want a horizontal orientation. We don't need to look at anything else. And we'll click, click create. And we're going to get this big white thing right in here. Now in the previous thing we were looking at, it's black behind there. So for the sophistication in the color, we're going to click this square right here. And that's going to be our rectangle tool. And we're going to go to the top, click our mouse, and drag it all the way. And if it weren't white, let's say there was no fill, we would click that, but then we can just go to recently used colors or color picker right here where my mouse is. And we can go to any color we want. Let's say it's red, but we don't want red. That honestly hurts the eye. Let's go to black. Then we're gonna click this T right here. It's our horizontal type tool. And do you see on my mouse right now in the cursor, there's this dotted white? That'd be no good. What we're gonna wanna do is, this layer is selected. We're gonna wanna click out of it below it and that'll unselect the layer. Then we're gonna get this dotted square thing and that's what we want. So, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is write our name. And we're gonna put that up top. Then, the next thing we want, let's go back and check it out, is our grad year, our position, our high school, and our club team. So let's bring that back. We hit that T button again. And we have our grad year. And then we're gonna click this arrow just to get out of it and we can move it around. So that's a little bit too big. So let's adjust this font to let's try 80. Maybe it looks good, maybe 100. Let's go 100. Better. So we have our grad year. And then we're gonna wanna click this T. Now, if I clicked anywhere on the outside, it would create a new text layer. And let's watch over here. When I click it down low, it says new layer, layer one. We don't want that. And anytime you mess up in this, all you have to do is click Control Z and it'll redo what we did. So now that layer's gone. But let's click that T button one more time and let's click inside there and you can see it by the thing adjusting. So right on top of that R, we can hit enter. And once we hit enter, the next thing we're gonna wanna put in is our position. After our position, we're gonna wanna put in our high school team. Then we're gonna wanna put in our club team. Next, let's go back. 
After that, we have our height and weight. We have our email and our phone number. Height and weight, email, and our phone number, which is exactly what college coaches want. If they like you, they're gonna rewind right to this cover page, and then they're gonna find your email and your phone number, and they're probably gonna text you. So let's go back, let's check it out. They have this aligned to the left right here. So why don't we do that? To do that, we're gonna click out of it, click our grad year, and do you see these three little columns up here and this one's aligned to the left? We're just gonna hit that and all of a sudden it just does it for us. Let's go back to our move tool, the top left on our toolbar, and we're gonna move this to the right right here. Just like that. Looks good so far. So let's go back to the previous highlight tape and over here we have our accolades and our GPA. So let's start ty typing that out. The T button, click that T button, and then we got our GPA. We have our accolades, all state, our other accolades, I think I spelled that wrong, I don't know. Then we have our, maybe our most improved player award. We have our tournament all-star. We have our tournament all-star. And that's enough to entice a college coach. This guy might be good. Now let's go back, let's check this page. This one is aligned to the right. And we're gonna not add that stuff in. Because it really doesn't matter. So right here we see that we're still in this text layer. If we just click that move tool again, now we're, click that move tool, now we're out of that text layer. And then we can go back to our paragraph thing and click this right align column right here. And it moves it to the right. Now we can move it. We align it with the top right here. And it does it for us. And all of a sudden, it looks pretty good. Something that I want to do is I want to the E distance at the end of the E to the distance of the A and the end of the P to the distance of the G is kind of roughly how much we want these two text layers positioned. It just it, it looks good to the eye. So that's it right there. We just have our cover page. Now let's say you want to add a photo behind it because you got a photo. We'll go into, so all we have to do to get this photo in here is go to one of the photos that we like. We're gonna shrink this down a little bit and I'm gonna click this one, where was that guy? This one right here. Let's drag him on the screen. We're just gonna click and drag and watch what happens. In the bottom right corner, nothing happened. Let's do that one more time. Click, drag. Oh, it was in there. It was totally in there. My computer is just slow. So there it is. Now let's move this below the top layer. Well, what happened? I'm gonna click this eyeball so the visibility goes down. And then we're gonna make it bigger and we just do that by simply clicking the side and dragging it. And it'll drag it to scale. And all of a sudden, we got a nice photo of us. But we can't really see all the letters. We can't read it anymore. So let's now go back to this rectangle box and let's click the eyeball. We want to take this opacity and we want to drag it down. And all of a sudden, now we are starting to be in the background. Pretty slick. Now, something that I want is maybe I want to center my guy right here so I'm gonna make him bigger because let me show you why I'm doing that if we centered if we centered our guy right here all of a sudden we have this little space but if we make him bigger now we can center him and there won't be that gray stuff behind it so now it's showcasing us and that looks pretty good, I would say. And just like that, 
Maybe, uh, let's just check it out with different opacity. Now, nah, see that's only 26%. Here's zero. Here's 32%. Here's 64, you know, I like 64, that looks pretty good. So there's our first cover page. But let's go back to that highlight tape. And we need another one, because college coaches love to call their high school coach or their program director. And to do that, we're simply going to click File New. We're going to do the 1920 width by 1080 height with the right orientation and don't worry about anything else first thing we got to do is create that box again boom click drag we got our box we got our box then we hit our text layer again and there's that little circle dotted line we don't want that we need to just simply click out of it and now we have our text layer and we want our club coach's name I kind of like that blue. We're going to rock with it. Let's vibe with it. We got our club coach's name. We've got our club coach's phone number. And we got our club coach's email. Perfect. Now we're going to adjust that. And now, since we're only doing contact information, why don't we hit this little paragraph sign? and align it to the center. And then we can align this right to the center right here. Boom. Now it looks a little big to me, so let's go to this A with the character. And then let's move this text down to say 75. Better. Much, much better. Now, we're gonna want our high school coach. High school coach's name, high school coach's phone number, high school coach's email. Boom. We click our move tool and we simply move it and align it to the center. Perfect. Then There we go. Then let's say we have another coach that we want. And we're just gonna do name, email, phone number. Really, really simple. And right there, we have our first page right here. And we have our second page right there. And then the next step is to get into the actual highlight tape. But before we do that, we gotta do one more thing. And to do that is, we need to go to our first page, we need to click File, Save As. Now we're gonna wanna save this on our desktop, a nice spot where we can save it later. You could save it anywhere else. Then, we're gonna wanna click Cover Page we're gonna call it three because I've already kind of made a cover page for someone else. And we don't wanna save it as a Photoshop. We wanna save it as a JPEG. Now let's click JPEG, not JPEG 2000, not JPEG stereo, JPEG. Then we're gonna click save. The quality here doesn't matter. Click okay. And then we're gonna to go to the second one, file. Oh, I can't do that. We gotta move this and we gotta align that we're going to align that bad boy right to the center there. We saw that one. Boom. Don't like the height, though. Bring it up. Bring it up. Boom. Perfect. Much better. We're going to click File, Save As. Save it on our computer. Save it on our desktop or wherever you want to save it. Then we're going to click Cover Page 4 because I already have Cover Page 2. Save it as a JPEG. And boom. Again, this doesn't matter. Click OK. And all of a sudden, we have created our first two pages. One page, two page. We're making moves, gentlemen. Next up, we're going to start putting our downloaded film 
on the timeline, and we're going to start cutting it up. I can't wait to see you over there.